Charles Darwin was the first to explore the hunting skills of the carnivorous plant Dionia muscipola, also known as the Venus flytrap. In 1873, Burden Sanderson reported that when touching sensory hairs, the flytrap fires electrical impulses, so-called action potentials. The ion channel basis of the action potential, however, remained unknown. To decipher the number of ion transporter entities constituting the flytrap electrical impulse, we inspected the action potential at higher time resolution and identified six different phases lasting about two seconds. From a resting state around minus 120 millivolt, the membrane potential rapidly depolarizes to minus 80 millivolt. Within the slower phase following, the depolarization peak around minus 20 millivolt is reached. The repolarization process is initiated by the membrane voltage rising fast to minus 80 millivolt. In a subsequent slower repolarization and overshoot phase, the pre-stimulus level of minus 180 millivolt is assumed. Taking advantage of Dionea lines expressing a fluorescent calcium reporter, we monitored the calcium response of single trigger hairs. Upon weakly bending the sensory hair, a calcium signal was triggered only in the mechanosensitive zone of the trigger hair basis. When we increased the mechanical force, however, the entire trigger hair was illuminated by the fluorescence emitted by the calcium reporter. Having learned how the trigger hair responds to stimulation by the experimenter, we wondered how the calcium-based alarm system recognizes real prey. When the ant collides with the trigger hair, calcium spikes are evoked and the trap snaps closed. The ant, eagerly trying to escape the closed trap, repetitively stimulates the sensory hairs, causing a real fireworks of calcium signals. When action potentials and calcium waves were recorded side by side, we found both signals well synchronized and traveling at the same speed. Interestingly, the calcium rise and the initial depolarization phase of the action potential take about the same time. However, when the action potential enters the repolarization phase, the calcium signal is still rising and longer lasting than the electrical signal. To identify the molecular players of the calcium-dependent action potential, we ask when in trap development the trap becomes excitable. Trigger hair stimulation of traps that had not yet opened did not evoke action potentials. After having opened the first time, they do. When comparing gene expression profiles of the non-excitable and excitable stage, we found several ion transporters differentially expressed. Among the most pronounced signals, we identified a glutamate receptor channel, an anion channel, a K channel and a proton pump. Furthermore, differentially expressed are proton-driven potassium and anion transporters. Based on functional expression and pharmacology, we were able to associate the ion channels, pump and transporters to six phases of the calcium-dependent action potential. In the initial phase, calcium ions enter via glutamate receptor channels, activate calcium-dependent anion channels and depolarize the membrane potential. In the phase following, depolarization activated potassium channels open and release potassium. This counteracts anion channel action at the level of the depolarization peak. When the anion channel activity fades away, the potassium channel makes pace. During progressive repolarization, the potassium channel inactivates and the proton pump takes over. In the recovery phase, proton-driven anion and potassium transporters and calcium pumps reset the ionic gradients for the next action potential to come. In this study, we have learned that compared to the fly, the action potential of the Venus flytrap is by far more complex. While the action potential of humans and flies is based on only one sodium and one potassium channel, the Venus flytrap possesses two additional components. If Charles Darwin was in our situation, 
he would ask questions about the selection pressure that made carnivorous plants to recruit glutamate receptors for hunting animals.